Oh, hello. You must be my replacement. I'm Josic. I've been the dispatcher here for over 30 years now, and I'll be training you today. It's good to meet you. This is the dispatch interface. Oh, don't worry. We're not very busy at the moment. We've got plenty of time to practice. Why don't we try moving around our view a bit? Great! Now try scrolling the mouth. Haha! <laughs> you're a natural. I can tell you're going to be great at this already. Now, how about we get a bit more comfortable with the interface? There are a few different things that we need to learn about. First up, we have the switches. These allow us to direct the train's route at... Great! Now we'll move on to the signals. These signals instruct the train to either proceed or halt, depending on which way they're flipped. Wonderful! Notice that the signal has turned green. This means that it's set to proceed. Trains will be able to run through it. Let's right-click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! As a dispatcher, you'll be responsible for routing trains to specific locations, so we should get familiar with some of the routes you'll be using. Let's start by making a route from Davidsa, Platform 2, to Bubni, Platform 2. We'll start by setting the switches so that the train can safely pass them. Remember, if a switch isn't set correctly, you'll be given a penalty. Great! Now that the switches are set, you can flip the signal. Excellent! Now that the route is set, a train could run through and reach its destination. We'll try setting another route in a second, but first we need to close the current route. Flip the signal to halt. This will make the track available for other trains again. Normally, a train would automatically reset the signal when it passes by, but for now, we can do it manually. Let's right-click it to set it back. Great job! Looks like you know what you're doing. Let's see if you can create a route on your own. Try making a route from Bubni Platform 2 to Docks Platform 1. And remember, switches first, then signals. Wonderful! Let's clear this route and get started with some actual trains. Let's right-click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! Well, you've certainly got the hang of that. The trains will start coming soon. I'm off to get a coffee, and then we'll start for real. Oh, what's that? Sounds like we've got a train approaching. We'd better get back to work. Oh, look! Davidse Station has a circular train icon next to one of its platforms. That means there's a train waiting to arrive at that platform. We better wave it through. Looks like train commuter 1011 is waiting to arrive. According to its schedule, it's looking to arrive at platform 2. Now that we've selected the train icon, all we have to do to... Right! Here it comes! Sometimes these trains take so long to arrive, I take a nap whilst I wait for them. <laughs> well, feel free to pass the time any way you like. No use sitting here doing nothing. You see that switch down the line? We'd better change its route, or else we'll be sending them straight into a dead end. Good work! Now we've got to signal to the train that it's safe to move. See the signal in front of the train? Great! That'll let the train know that it's safe to set off. Once it's past it, the signal will go back to causing trains to halt. We'll just wait for the train to depart now. It shouldn't be long. Oh, 
Oh look, the train just started moving. Its scheduled departure time must have passed already. Now we wait for the train to arrive in Bubni. As I said, feel free to take a quick power nap. I know I will. Ah, oh, look, the tracks turned red. That means that it's occupied. 